Hi guys! This week we're talking about TV crushes. I'm a little bit of a, of a TV whore, I guess. I have quite a few. I've got kind of top four, I would say though, and then I have a lot of honourable mentions. It's just tough when you love so many fictional men. So first of all, Mr. Brian Kinney of Queer as Folk. And I know that he is not a very functional human being. He is completely wrecked and not the sort of person that you sh that any sane person should have a real crush on. But what can I say? First of all, he's gorgeous, which doesn't hurt. But also, emotionally, we're similar in all the terrible ways. So all the inability he has with to deal with his emotions, I probably have and we agree on a lot of the same ways of dealing with things that probably aren't the best ways of dealing with things. I'm not as bad as Brian, but I think we do share a lot of the same problems. And yet, what can I say? It appeals to me. Number two probably is about as far from Brian Kinney as you possibly get is Ben Wyatt from Parks and Rec. He is just a complete nerd in the best way possible. He's just so adorably nerdy and sweet. Just a perfect specimen. Then Spike from Buffy. I talked in my obsessions video about how much I loved Spike as a kid and how I had the giant Spike poster and it hasn't gone away. There's something about that him and Brian share I guess of this really emotional guy underneath all this bravado so that in social situations they seem like yeah it's me I'm a hard guy and then underneath he is just a complete emotional wreck, isn't he really, Spike? And I just like emotional wrecks covered up with layers and masks. So probably with Spike and Brian actually, in real life they wouldn't appeal to me much because I wouldn't get to know them well enough to see their emotional sensitive side. But since they're fictional I get to see it all, all the lovely dysfunction there that makes them so appealing to me. The final one of my top four is Jess Mariano from Gilmore Girls, who has a lot of similarities I guess with the Brian and Spike sort of character, but he is less, slightly less standoffish let's say. He is also nerdy. He's kind of a bit of a mixture I guess between Brian and Ben. So the nerdy side of Ben actually Jess has quite a lot in books, so he's very booky. He reads a lot. And he annotated her copy of Howl. I mean, he annotated it. If someone did that to me, see if I were Rory I think I would have fallen in love with him right then and there. And who's to say she didn't? So he's a bit more open with his sensitive side I guess in that he reads a lot and is very open about the fact that he he enjoys books and enjoys literature. But he's also very standoffish. He's just so sweet and also pretty. So number five. He's not quite up there with the top four, but he is a very worthy member of the top five, is Nathan Scott from One Tree Hill. Now all the way through my teenage years, he was the TV crush for me, but I don't know why I don't think he's as big as the other four. He also has a bit of the bad boy thing that Brian and Spike and Jess will have. He doesn't have a nerdy side at all. He's not very intellectual. Although having said that, everyone in One Tree Hill quotes books all the time and they will speak like they're intelligent because it's written by intelligent people. So even though he's meant to be kind of dumb jock guy, he's actually really smart. And he's just so loving and it's everything he does, he does for his family and he's just so sweet and so caring and such a good friend. I think he just really cares about the things that are really important and he works really hard and he's just... He is my childhood... Well, not my childhood, my tween age crush. And then here we come, just honourable mentions, because I have to mention them because I have a lot of TV crushes and I wanted them all to feel loved. I put down Seth and Ryan from The O.C. Stars from Teen Wolf, also maybe kind of Isaac from Teen Wolf. Sawyer from Lost. Finn from My Mad Fat Diary. And the newest on the list is Ichabod Crane from Sleepy Hollow. Ichabod Crane is charming. Ben's just an adorable nerd. Styles and Seth are kind of the comic relief to, I guess. And then the rest of them are all those kind of slightly jerky characters, but you can tell there's something deep down that's a bit more sensitive about them. It genuinely irritates me when people are too nice and friendly 
I like people with a bit of an edge, so maybe that's why all these guys make it to the list. I haven't really explained any of it, to be honest, but I hope that if you watched these shows, you would you would see my feelings. I get irritated by fictional characters, and it's probably a flaw of mine, that are over-emotional, so I think it's a lot nicer to reveal it at the right time. And I think all my little dysfunctional characters here, when it comes down to it, nine times out of ten show their emotion when they need to. Brian Kinney is the exception because he didn't buy the flowers. But yeah, that's my top however many TV crushes that was in the end. Subtext, Abby is a TV whore. What can I say? Honourable mention to Chandler Bing, I have to say, because he is one of my favourite fictional characters ever, but I don't think I've ever had a crush on him and I think it would be wrong of me to have put him in that list, but honourable mention for just being amazing. I'm going to go off and think about how wonderful all these fictional characters are and probably waste some of my life watching some of them in many shows. I just love TV. Isn't TV great? Who needs real people when you have fictional characters? On that note, I will see you guys all next week and I'm really excited to hear who you guys put as your top crushes and see if any of your lists reveal any dysfunctional attraction to dysfunctional people, like mine. Okay, bye!